Tony, are you there? Yes, sir, I am here. All right, Tony, uh, you have a question for us today? Yes, sir. I was trying to buy a property that belongs to my father-in-law. I recently built a, my house on it, and he is ready to sell to me. The problem is he wants it all cash, and I don't know what type of loan to get to pay for that. So, so let me back up. So you built a home with your money on his lot? Yes, sir. Okay. So did you build your home in cash, or did you have a loan that you took out when you built that home? I built it with my own money, and it's nothing owed on it. It's all mine. It's all yours. Okay. Now, is the land still in his name? Yes, it is. Okay. So here's sort of the catch-22 that you're at. The way you're going to have to get money out of that property is you have to do a cash-out refinance. But the fact that title on the property, meaning the land, is not in your name, you also have to have the property in your name to season it for a 12-month period to do what they call a cash-out refinance which would get cash back to your father-in-law. So now uh-huh. there are some cases in which we can do it for 90 days. So that might what we might have to do, and this might be a conversation really off air because there's probably some more nuances to, nuances it. Yeah. to it than you probably want to go on air right there. But what we'd probably want to be able to do is really look and see where you stand, how your father's had it, and how it's currently surveyed, and see what we could maybe uh-huh. do to get around something. But what you're looking to try to do is get a cash-out refinance to be able to get that money out of your property against that because you're sort of a cash-22. You've got a land in somebody else's name with a structure on top of it. Now, you own the structure. Now, the other side of things that I'm thinking about we could do is, since technically speaking you built that home, but the land is still titled in your father's name, the other is just to do a purchase agreement. Just do a purchase agreement in your father's name, and you buy the property from him as if you're buying it, the property with the land. Because the home is built in cash, there's no way of showing who who built it. And then that might be uh-huh. the easiest way to get out of it right there. Do you know what he wants for the land? He's asking 40000 for it. Okay. That might be the way to do it. Let's do the following, if you don't mind, Tony. Let me put you on hold. And what I'll okay. do is I'm going to put you on hold right now, and I'm going to have our call screener get your number, and I'll call you back after the show if that's all right. Okay. That's fine. All right, Tony. Hold on one second, please. The real simple answer is that it becomes part of the realty. And so hopefully he has some good paper trail that he can protect his investment. Of course, if it's a family member, of course, it'd be best probably just to, you know, do a purchase agreement to purchase the land and building. There you go. So, yep. Uh, but it becomes well, part of the realty at that point. Awesome. So, well, Rob, uh, we, we literally have the, the hard break at the bottom of the hour and the music's playing. <laughs> so anyway, we all have a great show. 